are usually tough. But for Chandrayaan 3, far, far away from home, this was a happy one. This afternoon, Vikram, the lander, successfully separated from the spacecraft and now is making the solo journey to the moon with Pragyan, the rover, in its pocket. This is a major milestone for India's moon mission that hopes to be the first to land on the south pole of the moon. That landing is now just six days away. But there is some competition on its heels. Before we talk about it, a quick look at how the happy separation took place today. India's ambitious moon mission, Chandrayaan-3, achieved another major milestone. The Indian Space Research Organization announced that the lander module, Vikram, successfully separated from the propulsion module of the spacecraft. This achievement comes a day after Chandrayaan-3 completed its fifth and final lunar-bound orbit maneuver, bringing the spacecraft closer to the surface of the moon. Now that the lander has separated from the propulsion module, it will complete the rest of its journey to the moon on its own. The next major event will be the selection of the landing site on the south pole of the moon. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is currently in an orbit of 153 kilometers by 163 kilometers around the moon. The landing module Vikram, which carries the Pragyan rover, will now descend to a slightly lower orbit after a deboosting, which is planned for Friday at 4 p.m. After this, the lander will carry out two critical orbit reduction maneuvers. First, to get into a circular 100 by 100 kilometer orbit, and then in the 100 by 30 kilometer orbit. It is from this 100 by 30 kilometer orbit that the lander will begin its final descent for touchdown on the moon on 23rd of August. Chandrayaan 3 is now only one step closer to the moon with a billion hopes looking forward to the craft's landing on the lunar surface in about six days from now. As Chandrayaan-3 races towards the moon, there is competition snapping at its heels. Russia's moon mission, Luna 25, which was launched on August 10th, is hoping to make a landing on the lunar south pole anytime between August 21st to 23rd. That could overlap or come earlier than Vikram's landing, which is scheduled on 23rd of August. Question is, how is Luna 25 making the journey to the moon only in 11 days while Chandrayaan 3 is taking 40? Well, for one, Luna 25 is way lighter. At 1,750 kgs, it is almost half the weight of Chandrayaan 3. Plus, it has surplus fuel storage. Both these factors combined give it the ability to take a celestial shortcut to the moon. Let me go straight across to Dr. Amitabha Ghosh. He's a scientist at NASA, busy the whole day. Thank you very much, Dr. Ghosh, for joining us. I know you've had a <laughs> rather busy day with television channels today, and why not? I I... <laughs> Can I yes. start by asking you, will it, really... <laughs> will it really matter whether it's Luna 25 that reaches the lunar surface first or whether it's, it's Vikram and Chandrayaan 3? Because, you know, the world is now watching to see who will make it first. So just let's just back off and just think about it. What, what are these drafts trying to do? They're trying to study the lunar south pole. Maybe mm -hmm. the ultimate objective is to find the distribution of ice at the lunar south pole. So um, will it matter if somebody found it two days earlier or two days later? What is the commercial angle here? What is the hurry? And Two is, you know, I don't think it's a race because probably these missions began development years ago. So in 2011, the Lunar 25 mission planners probably could not have foreseen that in 2019, Chandrayaan is going to be on, on live and trying to aim for the moon. So, so yes, I don't, don't think it makes a difference. So you're saying healthy competition is good, but in space, what is required is cooperation. We know that's how space works, unlike Earth. Uh, tell me, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dr. Ghosh, 
why was today's maneuver so significant? We are saying this was a major milestone for the Chandrayaan-3 right. mission. Why so? What could have gone wrong? ISRO was very confident nothing will go wrong, but I'm asking you what right. could have gone wrong? Right. So, so okay, first, the, your part about the cooperation versus competition. See, in the global community of scientists, there is, has always been cooperation. You'll have these societies, the meteorological society, um, they will have representative from all countries and and everybody is rooting for more scientific data so the competition is i don't know it comes from a maybe political place or from media space okay what could have gone wrong um, i think the chances were lower because istro has done this many many times before but if the separation was not perfect or uh, it uh, something did not fire if the communication was lost but all these were very outside chances uh, I think the main test is what ISRO has not done is coming up in six days. So I, I, I wouldn't have imagined anything going wrong today, although, you know, we are talking about it, but I don't think it was a huge risk today. Hmm. Then can I ask you why is, I mean, we know that as far as Vikram is concerned, the soft landing is six days away now, and everyone has their fingers crossed, although ISRO is telling us that the plan is foolproof. I want to ask you why landing on the moon is so tough. Forget the South Pole. This is the first time that anyone will try and land on the South Pole. So that is going to be a double ch challenge. But why is landing on the lunar surface so challenging and fraught with risk, given the fact that humans have been doing it for a really long time now? Right. So, but India has not done it. You know, a space agency has its own tech technology memory. Mm. So, I'll tell you why it is wrong, hard. Say you're um, decelerating something from a very high speed, and you uh, come closer to the ground, and you sense the ground, um, and then you decelerate it further, and then it comes to near zero, and then it happens that well, you misestimated, you misread the uh, distance to the ground. So what is going to happen? It's going to again accelerate and hit the ground at a higher speed. So there are a lot of things can happen. Um, uh, so it is uh, then, of course, you have, to, you have to land on these three legs or four legs. What happens if it if it is like this? What happens if it lands a little higher velocity and the electronics is destroyed? So so all these things have happened. You know, the, there has been two missions. I think the Israeli mission and I think the UAE mission, right, which was destroyed. So. So it is hard. Correct. The soft landing mm. simply means that, say, you're dropping a suitcase from a multi storied building. It should decelerate to the point that the electronics inside the suitcase is perfectly safe. So it is not as easy as we think it so, is. Um, so you have to have retro rockets, multiple technologies to slow it down so that the electronics is protected. So so once you master it, you okay. remember it for the next Dr. mission. Mm -hmm. Dr. Amitava Ghosh, it's on the 6th. We are keeping our fingers crossed. We are hoping you'll join us on the 6th as well. For the moment, thank Absolutely. you very much for joining us. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.